Hi everyone, I'm Sophia Naz and I am delighted to be sharing my poetry with you today. Thank you so much to Parish Tiwari and Red River Press for giving me this opportunity. Hope all of you are well and safe and sheltering in place. I'm going to begin with a poem called Chappanchuri. This uh, is from my second book of poems, Pointillism, Chappanchuri. The jilted's 56 stabbings could not kill Janki Bai, thereafter known as Chappanchuri. When I type Churi, autocorrect is also a stab at language, giving me the option of cherry, char, sherry, churn, churl, and occasionally chai. A conjoined cup I sip, walk a tightrope of English Urdu, one foot in each bone chini, my lines are burning fiercely, like Janki, each wound giving me a brand new mouth. So that was a poem from my second book of poems, uh, Pointillism. My third book of poems is called Date Palms, um, and I am actually going to read the title poem. So, <clears throat> Date Palms. When the clock struck your outstretched palm at six, day was the color of a clay-skinned tahti, night a dark crackpot. Girlhood stopped at the stroke of eleven, day was a white-hot moon, night a blood-red scene. For sixteen the digits had no time, left you to do all the talking with your sticky fingers. On the lifeline of that other shore, your mother tongue became a threadbare heirloom, weaving to and fro in traffic. How aptly its catch-all, gull, sums up your middle age, where yesterday and tomorrow have the same name. Day is the colour of half, and half a cloudy presence hides your past. Drink it down, stare at the grounds, Night is the taste of lost earth. So that was the title poem of Date Palms. Um, I'm going to read uh, from my very first book now, which is called Peripheries. And the very first poem of it is a poem that's called Shipwreck. The heart is a couplet, a twin fracture scattered in the shipwreck of language. She picks up an in-breath, gulps down the clearest silence, like water needing no translation. Only in the exhale, words have a country, a meaning they must cross and uncross, the tangled lines, the barbs of borders that say, this is Hindi, a smear upon the other's forehead, and this is Urdu, a bird we are trying to cage in long slender bars of nastalik, so banished from flight, she parrots a false fortune, history clipped at the wings to bury a mongrel past. So, uh, hope you enjoyed those poems. 
uh, stay safe and support creative writers in the lockdown and read some books and wishing you all the best. Maybe all meet in person someday when this insane pandemic is over. Signing off for now, this is Sophia Naz.